if, if you see the world from a super majors perspective, ExxonMobil or any others, you know, the basic problem is that resource nationalism in the Middle East has locked you out of the great oil pools that, you know, the prize documented they used to own in Saudi Arabia and Iraq, Iran, elsewhere. And resource nationalism is spreading all over the world and most capable states have developed their own state oil companies to either control or strongly influence what they have. So if you want to own oil and gas, and that's the business model, equity oil, you basically have two choices. Either you stay in the free market West where property rights are available to everybody and there's no complication, but there's not been a lot of oil and gas growth until very recently, or you go to weak states which don't have enough um, strength to build their own state oil companies, their own capacity, or force you to act as a contractor. And so that's a kind of a strange footprint in the world. On the one hand, in the confident free market West, competing as an entity inside a democracy with, you know, outsized influence perhaps, but you're still a player in a system. And on the other hand, this disproportionate weight. I mean, a country like Chad, which I visited uh, for the research, you know, a fourth world country, really a benighted place. Fortunately, only 11 million people there, but that's 11 million people. And the entire U.S. budget to aid Chad, aids, food, everything, it's like maximum $10 million a year. The royalty and tax check, check that Exxon cuts to the authoritarian leader, let's politely call him, um, in 2006, 2007 was circa $750 million. And so if you're Idris Deby, you know, who are you going to call? <laughs> and and what, what, th what then is the international system? We could go to a hundred conferences around Washington about development aid in which the subject would be how to allocate the nine million dollars that the U.S. bilaterally supplies to Chad. And we would never even know or recognize or have a conversation about the 750, 800 million dollar check that's actually shaping the whole political economy of, of that country. So that's what interested me. And <coughs> as journalism, it seemed like really exciting. So I'm not sure I, I've succeeded in transmitting that on the page, but that, that's actually was my experience of it.